So here we are plotting standard deviations on a distribution plot. So if you take a look at the previous video, here we have a distribution of student writing scores, and you can check out the previous video to see how I got that. But right now we're going to plot the standard deviations so you can see them visually on the distribution. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to import the libraries needed, but we already did that here. So pandas, seaborn, matplotlib, etc. Um, then the next thing I like to do is obviously get the standard deviation. So we're going to do, we're going to target our data frame, we're going to target the column that we want, so that's writing score, and then apply the std method function, <clears throat> method or function, and we get our standard deviation. So that's 15.1957, okay? And we are actually going to set that equal to a variable, we're going to run it, and store it as std, okay? So now we're going to do some calculations. So what I want is I want the, um, you know, I want the numbers, like what's like one standard deviation above the mean and what's one standard deviation below the mean and etc. So to do that, I'm going to also have to get the average. So I'm going to set the average equal to data frame writing score dot average. I'm so, wow, dot average. I mean dot mean, right? So that's going to give me the, um, the average reading score. And then if we actually want to see it, the average reading score is actually a 68. Wow. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the average and I'm going to add one STD. So this is actually one standard deviation above the mean. Okay. Um, if I take the average and I subtract one STD, this is actually going to give me one standard deviation below the mean. Okay, run that. So those are two numbers. So I'm going to use those numbers to plot the standard deviation on the distribution. So um, I'm actually going to just copy this code here that we already had. So this is the distribution. So again, if you want to know how to do that, just watch the video I linked down below. It's just three minutes. So run that. So quickly, I'm going to explain it. So we have our hist, um, we're using Seaborn um, his histogram or his plot method to create a histogram to plot the distribution of the writing scores. And I added the color light blue and then the edge color none. So in order to see the difference, the edge color means kind of the color of the borders. So if we set it equal to red, it's going to be that. But I like to have it as none, okay? And then um, we're using matplotlib title function to give the distribution a title, distribution of student writing scores, and we have a padding of 15, which gives space between the actual title and the graph itself, okay? So now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use plt, so matplotlib, because remember we um, imported matplotlib as plt, which is a graphing library, and we're going to use its um, function ax v-line, so axis vertical line, and inside we're going to set x equal to what value we want it to be. So I'm going to start with one standard deviation below the mean, so I'm going to take that value and plot it here, and then the next argument we want to um, specify is the y minimum, so the y minimum is basically where we want it to start off. Um, so I'm going to say zero. And then the y maximum, I'm going to set equal to the data frame writing score dot maximum. Okay. And when we run that, we can finally see um, it starts off zero. So that's our y minimum. It's actually in the x axis. It's actually in fifth, um, 52, right? And then it ends right where the maximum of the writing scores is, which is... Well, I don't know what it is. Let's see. Let's actually see what it is. It's 100, right? So it, it should end at 100. Maybe if I just put 100, it'll be... Hmm, weird. Oh, well. Anyway, um, you get the gist. So that's plotting our vertical line. And then what I also like to do is I like to add a line style. Um, so you can kind of see the difference between them. So I'm going to do a dash line and I can, I'm going to change the color of it actually to green. Okay, so green, right? So that is um, one standard deviation below the mean. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for 
the what's your deviation above the mean so this one is going to be the same thing so again plt dot ax v line we're gonna our x is going to be what it actually is one standard deviation above the mean is 83 point blah 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 so we put that in there then our y minimum is always going to be zero because we want to start off at zero and then our y maximum i'm just gonna say the same thing so data frame writing score dot maximum and then the line style i want it to be dashed so we're going to add those two slashes there dashes and then i want the color also to be green okay plot that and now you can see that this is one standard deviation above and one standard deviation below. And just so you can kind of see um, the average, I'm going to actually plot the average for you so you can see where I'm coming from. So let's do PLT AX V line. X is just the average. I'm pretty sure that's how I have it as average, right? Y. What is going on? Y minimum. Zero. Y maximum, data frame, writing score, dot, max. Okay, so that's the average, and I'm actually going to change the color to black so you can see it better. Okay, so that's the average. So you can see that this green dashed line right here is actually what's their deviation above the mean or um, above the average, and then this dashed line right here is the standard of one standard deviation below the mean or below the average okay and then we're going to do the same thing for two standard deviations above and two standard, de standard deviations below so let's do average minus our std times two so this is actually going to be two standard deviations below the mean okay so that's going to give us that number then this one, let's just copy and paste, it's times three is going to be three standard deviations below the mean. And then again, let's copy and paste. This one's going to be, instead of minus, it's going to be plus. And this is going to be above the mean. And this is going to be plus, and then it's going to be two standard deviations above the mean. Okay, so let's have those numbers ready for us. Okay, so um, let me do now two standard deviations below the mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and plt dot ax v line, have our x here, our y minimum, and our y maximum, our line style, and our color. Okay, and our outline cell is always going to be dashed. Okay, so let me have this as a template here. Okay, let me kind of set this up for you here. So, hashtag three standard deviations below the mean. Right, put that in there. And then here we're going to have two standard deviations above the mean. And then finally, three standard deviations above the mean. And we can add the value. So if we go from the beginning, three standard deviations below the mean, below, 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 where is it? Where is it? Three standard deviations below the mean is this value right here. So we're going to plug that in there. Okay. Then our y minimum is always going to be zero. So let me add that to all of them. Okay. And our y maximum, oh, I should have just done this to all of them before I did that. It's going to be writing score dot max. Let me just copy that to all of them. So y max equals max equals max. Okay. Now, what else are we missing? Y max line style color, and we're in instead of green, we're gonna do yellow. Okay. That's your G that's three standard deviations below the mean. Now let's do two standard deviations below the mean. 
So if we look at two standard deviations below the mean, that's this number right here. So let's plot that or insert that, okay? And we're going to do this as, let's change this one to red and this one to yellow. I'm trying to go in order of a traffic light. <laughs> okay. And then two standard deviations above the mean is actually this number right here. So let's make sure we plot that here. And then let's change this to yellow. And then finally, the last one is three standard, three standard deviations above the mean. That's that number right here. And let's change this to red. Now, when we plot that, it should give us the standard deviations plotted on the distribution. So now, um, kind of one more thing I want to do is kind of make it bigger for you to see. So we're going to use the matplotlib bigger um, function, and we're going to use a fig size argument, and I'm going to set that to 1510. Okay, so here is the graph or the distribution of student writing scores and its standard deviations. So you can see that this is the average, then you have, you know, your one standard deviation below, one standard deviation above. Um, what did I do wrong? Because the three standard deviations above the mean is not showing up. Oops, probably did that wrong. Three standard deviations above the mean. This is wrong. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that was for. Um, okay, so fix that. Now it should show up. Perfect. So again, green line is basically one plus or minus standard deviation from the mean. Yellow lines is two plus or minus standard deviations from the mean. And then red is three plus or minus three standard deviations from the mean. Okay. So that's what um, our standard deviations look like plotted on a distribution graph. And to see how you can use this graph to compare students' um, writing scores, um, you can check out the video linked in the description box below. And yep, have a great day.